Our correspondent in the Syrian city of Aleppo reports that fresh shelling has killed six civilians with a two-year-old boy among the dead. Murag Gazdiev went to the hospital where the victims were taken. A warning, you may find the following images distressing. Some of the things we saw were heart-wrenching, even by Aleppo standards. One man was hunkered down, rocking back and forth, clutching his two-year-old son who had been killed and was wrapped in blankets. We saw four children huddled and crying over the corpse of their mother. There was screaming and shouting in the corridors. <laughs> From what we've been able to gather, Jabhat al-Nusra, who Al-Qaeda's affiliate in Syria, and the dominant rebel faction inside East Aleppo launched a major attack against the Syrian army just after midnight in an apparent attempt to link up with their Islamist brethren outside the city. It certainly sounded and felt like they brought everything they had to bear in this attack. The walls, the windows, the floor of the hotel we are staying at shook for hours and hours on end. There was the unmistakable scream of rocket artillery, uh, mortar round explosions, the much heavier blasts caused by gas canister bombs. The epicenter of it all was the Bustan al Qasr neighborhood in the south of Aleppo, one that is unfortunately densely populated by civilians. And according to local medics, in total, 15 people have been killed and 150 wounded in the terrorist shelling of Aleppo. Militant fighters, along with rebel groups, have launched an offensive against Assad's forces. Now, this video recently released by the AP News Agency reportedly shows two car bombs detonating, and they were planted by al-Nusra terrorists.